Super quick video today. Last night, the Extreme Z area for both Yamcha and Bulma released, meaning that not only can you EZA them, but after you do, you can finally obtain some of the last tickets needed in order to perform your free double rate 30 character multi, which by the way, does have unfeatured LRs. Many people watching will get very lucky on that multi. So this is something you have to do. You have to not only rainbow these two, but EZA them as part of some of those ticket missions. Now I will say for today's really quick subscriber challenge or push up challenge, if you're already subscribed, if you don't have this Yamcha or this Bulma in your box, level 120 out of 120 and all do paths unlocked, I'm not going to require you to have them easy a just yet or have them rainbowed. But if you don't have them, SA10, completely max level wise and all do paths unlocked, you got caught lacking today. I don't know what you're doing. You got to subscribe if you're new or, of course, push-ups. I need you to drop down and give me four, by the way, if you don't have this done. If, of course, you are already subscribed. But if you already have this done, shout out to you. I appreciate you. You can skip these challenges today. Uh, shout out to you again. I appreciate you. Let's hop into this. So, when it comes to this Extreme Z area, of course, just two stages. The first one is Bulma. The second one is Yamcha. And this is the roster of characters that you are allowed to use. So, for world tournament lrs here you also do have the bulma and goku now keep in mind i mean if you really look at this you will realize that this um, basically all of these characters um exist within the dragon ball saga category so you don't really have to go around your box trying to figure out you know who you can use i believe dokkan now actually allows you to only see these characters but in case i'm incorrect you can just sort your box by dragon ball saga and basically all these characters will be available with, you know, you're not going to have, you know, LR Bulma to your disposal or even, you know, uh, the Int Goku or Path to Power Goku. But you can definitely use Mercenary Tao. You can use, uh, you can use Android 8 or even the new uh, Easy 8 Yamcha as well. But again, these are the roster of characters. So when taking on the Bulma phase, I don't know why I almost said Yamcha, but the Bulma phase, you're going to have really powerful options like the World Tournament Jackie Chun, the LR Jackie Chun, and even this free to play in Bulma. Then by themselves, they're, they're, you're not going to lose. It's going to be a very easy, uh, you know, you're going to be able to cruise through this if you have some of these units. And then, of course, when it comes to uh, the STR Yamcha side of things, AGL units like the Goku, like the Android 8, like the Goku and Bulma are going to allow you to cruise through this as well. But I want to point out something really quick as well, just for those of you who believe that grinding free to play units isn't really worth it. Let's just say you're a new player and you save your Dragon Stones. You haven't really summoned on much. You're going to notice that not only are all these LRs free to play. I mean, granted, they're a world tournament, but you don't really need, you only really need uh, to rank 150 locally to get at least one copy of these LR. So, not really that bad. But you also have the free to play Bulma, who re recently got an easy A. The other Bulma, free to play Bulma, who also has an easy A. The free to play Yamcha, who now has an easy A. You also have the free to play Master Roshi, who has an easy A. And you have the free to play uh, Jackie Chun here, who also has just five free to play characters there that all got easy A's fairly recently. Oh, you also have Grandpa Go. That's another free to play character. That's six. That's a whole team of free to play characters there that many people probably don't have because they don't think grinding free to play characters are actually worth it. But this is a prime example of if you're someone who doesn't really have these other summonable characters here, at least you now have a full team, six free to play characters that you can run in this and still probably easily win, right? All of them have easy A's now. So it's not going to be too difficult of a challenge for you. Like they're probably, they definitely made it still possible only with free to play characters, I assume. Obviously, it's easier, but again, these LRs are also free to play as well. So, if you're someone who thinks free to play characters aren't really that worth the grinding, this is an example of why they are. And the last thing you want, as someone who doesn't think free to play characters are viable, is for a super difficult event to release that requires six specific free to play characters, all you know, maxed out this, maxed out that you know sa 15 out of 15 completely rainbowed and maybe those events aren't even available so you you have to use keys now to go ahead and you don't want to backtrack like that and reverse grind you should always be for your progress should always i mean i guess if you do that you're 
box progress is still going to you know move forward but the point is when things release try to complete them even if it's a free-to-play character it's not going to take you too long just get it done because you never know again when you're going to need to uh utilize those free-to-play characters for specific events especially if you don't have some of these other sunbull characters as well so hopefully you enjoyed like i mentioned quick video today i'll see you in the next one take care and peace